Hello, I'm Joanna, a billing and account specialist here at AWS Office in Dublin. Sometimes customers ask me what they should do if they want to remove a member account from the organization, but they can't sign into the member account as a root user. So today, I'll show you how you can sign into the member account. Let's get started. There could be a couple of reasons that you can't sign in as the root user of that member account. For example, maybe a former employee who owns the root user credentials left the company, or maybe you forgot the password to log in that member account as a root user, but you still have IAM access. First, try the following to gain access to that member account. Contact the administrator of the member account and ask them to grant you access. If you have access to the email address associated with the account, reset the password. If those strategies don't work, you can resolve this issue differently depends on whether the member account was invited to the organization or created to be part of the organization by the mass account. By default, if you create a member account as part of your organization, AWS automatically creates a role in the account that grants administrator permissions to IAM users in the mass account. That role is named Organization Account Access Role. You can grant permissions to members of an IAM group in the mass account to access the role. After logging to the AWS Management Console in the master account, navigate to the IAM Console. We've signed in as a user with administrator permissions in the master account. This is required to delegate permissions to the IAM group. IAM users will access the role in the member account. In the navigation pane, choose Groups and then choose the name of the group, not a checkbox, whose members you want to be able to assume the role in the member account. You could also create a new group and add users to the group instead. Here, I'm creating a group named Move Member Account Test. Skip Attach Policy and then click Next Step, then Create Group. The page will lead you back to the group name list. I'll click the group I just created. Choose the Permissions tab, and then expand the Inline Policies section. As you can see, there are no Inline Policies exist. Choose Click Here to create one. Next to Policy Generator, choose Select. On the Editor Permissions page, set these options. For In Fact, choose Allow. For AWS Service, choose AWS Security Token Service. For Actions, choose Assume Role. For Amazon Resource Name ARM, substitute the account ID number of the member account and the role name that was configured when you create the account. If you didn't specify a role name, use the default name. The ARM should look like the following. Choose Add Statement, and then choose Next Step. On the Review Policy page, ensure that the ARM for the role is correct. Enter a name of the new policy. In my case, I will add the target member account ID at the end of the default policy name to make it clear and then choose Apply Policy. Now let's switch to the role for the member account. We will make sure that IAM users that are member of the group now have the permissions in the target member account. From the upper right corner of the AWS Organization Console, choose Switch Role. Enter the account ID number that you want to remove from the organization and a role name. In this case, the role name is Organization Account Access Role. For display name, enter the text that you want to show on the navigation bar in the upper right corner in place of your username while you are using the role. You can optionally choose a color. Here, I use the display name as Move Out Test. 
click switch row. Now all the actions that you perform are done with the permissions granted to the row that you switched to. You no longer have the permissions associated with your original IM user until you switch back. Now you can open the My Organization page and choose Leave Organization. If this member account has all the required information to be operated as a standalone account, such as contact information provided, AWS customer agreement accepted, a valid payment method provided, the phone number verified, a support plan option selected, it can be successfully removed. If not, there will be a pop-up window with a message displayed as you can't leave the organization yet. Choose complete the account sign-up steps and it will guide you through the process. In my case, I need to add a valid payment method to this account. Then this member account can leave the organization. Finally, choose the row name in the upper right corner again and then choose back to your username to switch back to your primary IAM user. Now let's take a look at a different scenario. If the account was invited to be part of the organization, we'll need to follow a different process. Instead, we will create and assume an admin role for the account. First, let's create the organization account access role in an invited member account. I've signed in to the member account as the IAM user that I want to use to remove account. In the IAM console, navigate to Rows and then choose Create Row. Choose another AWS account. Enter the 12-digit account ID number of the master account that you want to grant administrator access to. For this row, because the accounts are internal to your company, you should not choose Require External ID. If you have MFA enabled and configured, choose to require MFA device, then click Next Permissions. On the Attach Permission Policies page, choose the AWS Manager policy named Administrator Access, and then choose Next Tax. I'm going to skip this step because it's optional. Choose Next Review. On the Review page, Specify a role name and an optional description. I will use Organization Account Access Role, which is the default name assigned to the role in the new account. To commit your changes, choose Create Role. Your new role appears on the list of available roles. Choose the new role's name to view the details. Paying special notes to the link URL that is provided. Give this URL to users in the member account who need to access the role. Also, note the role ARN because you need it in a step coming up. Click Copy. Now sign out as your current IAM user. Then sign back to the IAM console as a user in the master account who has permissions to create policies and assign the policies to users or groups. Navigate to Policies and then choose Create Policy. For Service, choose STS. For Actions, start typing Assume role in the filter box and then select the checkbox next to it when it appears. Choose Resources, ensure that specific is selected, and then choose Add ARM. Enter the AWS Member Account ID number, and then enter the name of a role that you previously created. In my case, this is my Member Account ID, and the account name is Organization Account Access Role. Choose Add. Choose Review Policy. Enter a name for the new policy and then choose Create a Policy to save your change. In my case, I name the policy as Move Out Test. Choose Create Policy. Choose Groups in the navigation pane and then choose the name of the group, not the checkbox, that you want to use to delegate administration of the member account. Here I choose 
move member account test. Choose attach policy. Select the policy you just created and then choose attach policy. I simply filter by creation time and then find the policy, move out test. The users who are members of the selected group now can use the URLs that you captured in previous step to access each member account row. Now open the link that you were provided earlier when you created the IM row in the new tab. Click switch row. Then choose my organization and then choose leave organization. Because this member account was invited to join the organization, it should have all the required information to be operated as a standalone account. If not, there will be a pop-up window with additional messages reminds you that this member account may be prompted to complete sign up if additional steps are needed to be a standalone account. Finally, choose the role name in the upper right corner again and then choose back to your username to switch back to your normal IM user. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.